Hey there, it's the Yard Buddha, and today we're going to be tackling this weeping crab apple. I believe it is a weeping crab apple. I think the owner said it was a weeping cherry, but it's kind of based on the fruit that I can see on here. Those look like crab apples, so they are similar. And the owner calls this cousin it because it does kind of just look like a big giant bush that hasn't been touched for a while. So I'm probably going to take out at least a couple of those top branches and then just bring up all the side branches so that they're not creeping down so much. But you can see, or maybe you can't see, there is just a bird's nest of junk in the middle here. Maybe I can get under here. Oh yeah. Has not been touched for a long, long time. So I'll probably start with the middle and just start taking out the dead stuff and then we'll see what sort of skeleton we have left over and work from there. But this is what the... Oh, there are birds in there? All right. There might be some birds in there too, so I may be battling some sort of quail as well. We'll, see, we'll show you how it goes. Okay, here's the after on this weeping crab apple, aka cousin it. We took off probably about two or three feet of the hanging branches and maybe one or two of the topmost ones that weren't kind of quite curling, but we did most of the trimming here, just opening up the inside and taking out tons of crossing branches. I mean, nothing had been done in here for a long time and you can see even some that are still embedded in other ones that I didn't want to fully rip out, but I probably could spend another two hours in here, but just for efficiency sake, I chose to move on and maybe leave some areas for the birds to hide into. And then the, just the main point was to open this whole area up. It was inaccessible. And now the owner can get in here and take out some more of the dead stuff too if they want. So that was a fun project for today. And this thing is nice and open. A whole lot more light should be able to get inside. So. If you like to see these pruning projects, give me a subscribe and I got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. Bye.